Wing Tool Lab by Mr. Westfall. As you know, data that travels over the internet is broken up into smaller pieces called packets. Not packages, packets. It is the job of a router to direct the packets to their destination. A router tells the packets where to go. Oftentimes, this isn't a direct route. A packet may travel through several intermediary routers before it reaches the server. The time that it takes for a packet to reach its final destination is called latency, aka lag. Latency results in slow and frustrating internet speeds, less bandwidth, terrible hit detection in games like Call of Duty, laggy input, slow downloads, and sometimes you cannot reach the server at all. If you are a gamer, you are likely very familiar with lag. <laughs> to review, less lag is good. More lag is bad. Lag times or latency times are measured in milliseconds. We can measure latency by using the ping tool. The ping tool verifies the connectivity to a server and records latency time. We will have to access the command prompt. To do this, we press the Windows key and the R button on the keyboard at the same time. Then we type CMD into the run box and press OK. Another way to get to the command prompt is to access the start menu and press CMD into the search bar. To run the ping tool, open command prompt. Type ping, then the website you want to ping, and hit enter. A few moments later. The tool gives us a bunch of results, such as the IP address of the server you're trying to connect to, the number of packets sent by the client, the number of packets received by the server, the amount of packets that were lost, and also the minimum, maximum, and average latency times in milliseconds. If you see request timed out when you attempt to ping, the server is unreachable or it is blocked. As always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you. Have a great day.